Watch you guys, got another video here for you on how to avoid ransomware using Secure A+. Now we're on a Windows 7 box here and uh, we're going to be showing you how you can prevent ransomware from injecting itself onto the system and encrypting all your data. So as you can see here, I'm going through and installing Secure A+, here. Now in my previous video, I showed you how to block ransomware on a Windows 10 machine and there was also a bit of a Windows 7 one on there which I made a mistake on so I've now edited that on YouTube and deleted that part out and this is the part that I wanted to really show you because I did make a mistake showing uh, that part of the video on there uh, so I've apologized to Secure A Plus and I've now corrected that issue by re-uploading this video showing you the true power of Secure A Plus so as you can see here we've got our desktop complete clean machine and uh, we've got this installed on the system and what we're going to be doing is testing it against some nasty ransomware that once injected on the system will encrypt all your data and hold you to ransom. So when you first install Secure A+, you're going to need to let it do its initial scan of the system and this is going to build up a whitelist of all the good programs that you have on there and you can see it's doing its initial scan now this does take a fair bit of time so you've got to be patient and uh, once this scan is completed uh, we should be good to go and test now I'm going to be putting this on the faster speed but I will speed this process up because it does take a bit of time gives you all the tips here in the little window beside if you want to read some of those tips also the website has loads of good information and facts about this program as well so as I said, we're just going to speed this process up here and uh, so you don't have to watch the uh, scanning process because it does take a fair bit of time uh, to do. So with this on, installed on our Windows 7 machine, uh, once this is installed, we should have full protection. So I'll just speed this process up. Now you can see here down the bottom, I'm going to click on this and you'll see we've got it set to interactive mode here. It's running a scan on the system at the moment and there is nothing on here because it's a clean system and uh, I did make that mistake in the last video I was tired and uh, I used an old version of Windows which had been tested on which was my mistake but this one is uh, going to be the proper test as you can see here and these are the settings we we'll try and replicate it the way it was before everything's uh, all default apart from this one here I'm going to change this setting here to name and thumbprint and you can see we've got our completed scan and the services and drivers are running. So we should be pretty much good to go here. I'm just checking a few last settings here just to make sure everything's okay. And you have, if you haven't watched the review of this, you can also watch a review. I did a review of this software as well. And I've put that video up on, on my channel. So let's go ahead and uh, get ready here to do our scan of the system with uh, this ransomware. Now if you drop this ransomware on the system it will detect it so I'm just going to quickly open up our process uh, task manager here so we can look at the processes here and this is going to show us uh, if it gets onto the system and whether it's dropped onto the system here so I'm going to use the same one that we had problems with in the last video and that was my mistake so I'm just going to quickly drop this on and show you that it does block it. So here we have it on our system. I'll click on this and this is the bit where you want to continue blocking. Okay, now once you continue blocking, you can see now the processes are not running. And in my previous video, I had it on the end of the video where it was showing the process running. And you can see Secure A Plus has actually blocked that with ease. And uh, so that was the mistake I made. And you can see here, we can now just hit delete and it will delete that file on the desktop. So very powerful and very secure and uh, that stopped that uh, crypto ransomware dropping itself on the system and encrypting all my data. So what we're gonna do here quickly is I might just do a quick test uh, of some of the other files that I've got into this uh, ransomware folder and show you the power of it in Windows 7 as well because I didn't get to show you that in the last video. So what I will do is quickly uh, show you I'm just showing you here the actual processes here that are not running it's been stopped and blocked um, so what we're going to do is open up this folder and pull out some more ransomware here so I'm just going to grab all these and drag these onto my desktop 
and you'll see it should block all of these with ease. So I'm just going to line these up a little bit here and uh, we'll run through these and click on them. And uh, now we're on a fresh clean install here. This should have no trouble in blocking these just as it did in Windows 10. And I thought there was something peculiar when I was doing it on Windows 7 and that is the reason why. So I click on these as you can see they're getting blocked and we'll try a different ransom and these are all different types of ransom uh, crypto ransomwares that which will inflict nasty damage to your system by encrypting all your data and uh, we're just going to test these quickly as you can see here having no trouble blocking these whatsoever it's doing an awesome job and that's exactly what you want so you want some trust with some software now this is a great result for secure a plus uh, because if you're running this on your system it's going to give you some outstanding protection against crypto ransomwares and you can see it's just blocking these with ease so i'm just going to continue on here and do a few more here so let's click on this now you can see here there was a bit of a delay nothing's popped up and it's checking for that process and again it's popped up here we'll continue blocking and then it will block that process as you'll see in a second there you go and uh, that's now blocked as you can see here and we now can delete them files and it's dealing with these with no problem at all and these are some of the nastiest uh, ransomwares on the internet and they're all over the internet they're pretty rampant at the moment and uh, if you don't want to fall foul to this type of uh, infection and lose all your data then you want to really sort of install some software that's going to protect you so as you can see here it's done a fantastic job at blocking all of these from running I shall delete these off my desktop and I'll just quickly uh, push delete here now the reason why that's come up is because it's already scanning it's still scanning the desktop and it thinks they're uh, still on there but I've already manually deleted them myself but anyway that's pretty much how you can avoid ransomware on your computer by using secure a plus it's an awesome product uh, go over there and check it out and I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then please hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos. Now, if you have any problems with your computers or any video requests or, or anything like that, you can always head over to my forums there um, and that's the best place to uh, post on there because you're going to have more chance of me seeing it and uh, I know people do make comments and stuff I'll try to read as many as I can but I do get quite a lot a day and it's very hard to keep up with all of those comments so your probably best place to go is over the forums and there's a section in there that says uh, video requests and you can leave it in there and I will get to it eventually now some of them I'm not going to cover if I've already covered them before but you know uh, that's probably the best place to post them if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page you can always head over there as well and join my uh, fan page by hitting the like button and that's pretty much it for this video so i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you again in the next video bye for now